Good morning, everyone. Thanks for taking this time to stop by and enjoy Coffee in the Word with me. That time each day that we examine some of God's Word, and then we apply it to our lives so we can become a little more like Jesus today than we were yesterday. So grab that favorite mug, and let's get started. We're going to go to Psalm 134 today and talk about worship. As we uh, share this with you, stop and think about what that word means to you. Verse 1 says, Praise the Lord, all you servants of the Lord, who minister by night in the house of the Lord. Lift up your hands in the sanctuary and praise the Lord. May the Lord bless you from Zion, he who is the maker of heaven and earth. The pilgrims finally arrive in Jerusalem and come into the temple. They see the priests, the Levitical seniors, singing at night. We see this in 1 Chronicles chapter 23. Perhaps those who worked the night shift, if we can call it that, got little public attention or acknowledgement. Yet, by being able to pray and praise him in his presence, they had the one thing needful. Though they were laboring in relative obscurity, God blessed them as he does all who are faithful to their calling. So the greatest thing is to live in the presence, always singing thankfully in our hearts to him. Ephesians 5, 19 and 20. But remembering we can only do so from Zion, the place of blood sacrifice for sins. Today, that means remembering Jesus' blood was poured out and that without the shedding of blood, there is no forgiveness of sin. So Lord, I want to consciously worship you all day. Then every good thing I'd see as a gift from your heart and every bad thing as a test from your hand. Please give me a moment by moment God-centeredness. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Be blessed and have a grace-filled day.